Welcome to another episode of the Cook Content of Spec Ops Online. This will be more of a quick one. There's an interesting oddity among the srgame.int file of Spec Ops localization files. Among the collectibles, it's mentioned that there's intel you can pick up, but it also lists Radio Man speakers among them. For those of you who don't know or didn't notice, there are speakers scattered around the game that play different licensed music, in this case by the radio man, Robert Darden, one of the main antagonists of the game. You can find them hung up around various parts of levels, like the midpoint of Chapter 2, and they can actually be destroyed if you shoot at them. It's listed, in fact, as an objective you could pursue. The collectibles, in this case, would be destroying the radio man's speakers. Under tutorial messages, there are two referencing it. One reads, These speakers are spread all over Dubai. Find and destroy them all. It's unknown what you would have gotten out of this. It probably would have been an optional objective, maybe giving you an achievement. But it's interesting, because you can still do this in the final game. And I'm not sure if there's anything left over within the programming to happen when you break all the speakers, if it's even possible. But it's interesting that this would be a collectible opportunity, an optional objective for you to pursue alongside the intel gathering and achievements. There's also a reference to an event tracker part. Radio speaker destroyed. It lists speakers found. I'm not sure if that was for multiplayer or single player, but... Maybe there were some differences about how the objective would have been pursued in the final game before the whole thing was just scrapped entirely. Anyway, that's just a neat bit of trivia, and I think that there's a lot more laying under the surface of Spec Ops Alliance that's worth digging up. While looking through this, I found references to what looked like an earlier storyline for the campaign or an earlier outline of it. I might cover that next, either that or maybe Horde Mode or the Flamethrower. Any of those definitely deserve a mention. Thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping up with the cut content of Spec Ops The Line. I'm really glad people are enjoying these. Have a good one.